Everyone on set with this movie was talking about how the goal was to make it bigger, funnier, sexier. Bigger, better, sexier. How did you guys go about doing that? What were the steps you took to execute that Well, we vision? first looked for a place that we could go to give us that backdrop. And um, I must admit, I think Miami was, I don't think there was another option. So I think we, we said, hey, if we're going to make it bigger, better, sexier, and all of that, uh, where can we do that? What's the best place that's going to give us the chance of doing that? And I think Miami came up immediately. So that was the first the first part of it. And then it was to bring everybody, you know, bring Cube and Kevin back together, obviously, and then kind of give some other, you know, some other people in there that would, like, uh, round it out. Ken Jeong, who brings his own brand of comedy. And then you also have Olivia Munn, great actress, who also is really funny. And then we also brought Benjamin Bratt. We needed another great villain, and he brought that. Yeah, and they're singing in the background there, right? That's the magic that's of our a press Asian persuasion section over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they are just out of control. That's Olivia Munn and Ken Jones. Right. They're coming out with the new bands. Well, I mean, with that. <laughs> Even with that, here at a press junket where it's supposed to be controlled, now you're talking on set, you've got Kevin, Cube, Olivia, and Ken. How do you control that? Who's in charge of controlling that madness on set? That's what? what's scary. Yeah, yeah. Because he's the guy he controls. You and don't he's control just it. as crazy as they are. Yeah. We had so, I mean, it was kind of like we were supposed to be the adults. It was. They think, we, they still think we are, Will. We got them all fooled. Yeah, they what's still funny think we are. is that it's a great chemistry all around between the actors. Tim has such a great way with his cast. And so that relationship is awesome. They have their own chemistry. And then I come in and just try to, you know, pay for all this madness. <laughs> You're a lucky man. And there's a lot more explosions and action in this. Absolutely. Oh, you had all the toys this time. Oh man, he gave me a lot more. We were closing down bridges. We were we had a nice car chase. We had one in the first one, but this explosions. one was oh, explosions. It was great. We were on, in speed boats on the water. That's right. That's, that's, that's right. another reason you come to Miami, mm -hmm. so you can do those great action set Absolutely. pieces against an amazing backdrop. And with all those stunts, you put Kevin, it seemed like with great joy, putting him in tough situations. <laughs> being drowned in water with chickens, with dogs, with, uh, you know, alligators. We love torturing him, you know. Um, <laughs> it's fun to torture Kevin. One, he's got to do it, because yes. the script says it. Absolutely. And uh, we need to, We always say we need a close-up of you, Kevin. It's, you know, you can't use a stun guy. We just love putting him in those situations, because it's, it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And how far do you sometimes put Cube in a situation to see if he'll break? If he'll crack. He doesn't crack. He doesn't crack. He is the he is the the ultimate straight man. I think we've stopped trying. No. He, I mean Kevin will literally and, and Ken Jong, like they'll do a take and the whole crew will be cracking up. I mean like the key grip is over there laughing and messing up the take. Cube does not break. You know, he's the OG. He's been doing it forever. He knows what it takes and he's awesome. You know, last night was such a successful premiere and the audience was going wild. When you guys see this movie, how do you perceive it? What do you think about it? And what do you feel when you see the movie? I feel good. I mean, it, it's a fun movie. We, we we set out to make another great ride, as you might say. And um, and I think that's what we've um, kind of created. And it's just fun to watch it and we love it. We're finally very, very proud and happy to have the audience now get a taste of it and, and see what we've been living with for over a year now. You know, as a filmmaker, there is no greater feeling than sitting in an audience, watching them watch your work, something that you've labored for a very long time to create, and having them receive it in the way you want them to, and really give back that energy. There's nothing greater 